Hi students, welcome back to another lecture. Today I am continuing uh, oscillation chapter and today I am not going to take any new concept but I am going to discuss a method in order to find uh, phase difference between two oscillation or the time instant or the time at which a particle oscillates and reach a particular position all these things we will be discussing today so from the basics suppose if this is the main position suppose a particle starts from here a particle starts from main position this is amplitude mean position it starts from mean position then generally we used to write x is equal to a sin omega t a particle starts from mean position we used to write the equation of simple harmonic motion as a sin omega t and its corresponding wave will be like this time displacement this is going to be amplitude so instead of time t we can have theta also here <coughs> so this is one situation another possibility if this is mean position plus a minus a the simple harmonic motion or oscillation can start from here also okay from extreme position also so if it is starting from here we know that x is equal to a cos omega t then in that case we will have the graph like this always we uh, measure the displacement from mean position suppose if the displacement is here this is the mean position uh, this is the mean position if here is the displacement then this is x this is going to be positive x suppose if the particle is here when we take the displacement that will be like a negative x but usually uh, when we handle certain a simple harmonic motion say for example if this is a motion if this is mean position if the particle is starting from here if the particle is starting from somewhere in between then we cannot write either a sin omega t uh, or uh, v uh, a cos omega t we cannot write in that way so if that is the case then a sin omega t plus phi so an initial phase difference we will have to consider this a cos omega t we can write in this way also a sin omega t plus pi by 2 okay or uh, because sin is ahead of uh, cos is ahead of sin by pi by 2 so in this way also we can write if there is some initial phase in this way also we can write so all these things already we have seen in our previous videos now when we try to find the time at which the position of a particle at some distance say for example when i consider a simple harmonic motion this moment this moment this moment one two three so all these three moments together when it happens we can say one cycle so for the time taken for that one cycle is called time period t time period t suppose for this moment alone 
we used to write t by 4 till this again t by 4 till this again t by 4 here till this again it is t by 4 so hope this is clear for you okay so with this uh, introduction i am going to get into the uh, the real discussion of today's lecture so when i mark this spot here we could say this is going to be a by 2 half of the amplitude half of the amplitude if this is t by 4 <coughs> if we need to write okay this is going to be t by 8 or half of this time if you think like that then things will go wrong correct or what say for example if the instantaneous position of a particle is a by 2 that is displacement is a by 2 then what is the time instant based on the time period if if, if they ask that what we do if it starts from uh, mean position what is the equation x is equal to a sine omega t so what we do we will be putting here a by 2 this is equal to a sine omega t this a a will be cancelled off 1 by 2 is equal to sine 2 pi by t into t so 1 by 2 is given by what angle 30 degree so <coughs> pi by 6 is equal to pi by 6 is equal to 2 pi by t into t we can say sine pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 so if we cancel pi pi and if we consider t is equal to this will come here this is going to be t by 12 we are getting correct or what already we have done these kind of problems in the class okay already in previous lectures we have done this now this can become complex they can make these kind of questions very complex if they put two simple harmonic motion what is the phase difference between them or if uh, a particle is moving from a by 2 to another point just just like uh, a by root 2 or root 3 a by 2 to a by 2 so from a by 2 to a these kind of distances if they give then it will take much time and the problem will become very difficult so we will be discussing a method an approach today in order to deal these kind of problems okay so let us start <coughs> so basically why this problem occurs is uh, this when we consider this SHM, this amplitude varies between different simple harmonic motions, okay, different, different SHMs, amplitude may be different, that is one thing. Another thing is, since a restoring force is acting in this direction, the acceleration will be acting towards mean position what happens is velocity is variable when the velocity is varying obviously the distance we cannot um, what we cannot uh, different uh, separate the distance based on its ratio that problem is also there so since all these things are there we we cannot a by 2 means we cannot take it as t by 8 but we have angle here we can use angle here which is not going to change like this okay say for example always always we consider this as pi by 2 always we consider this as pi by 2 
suppose if we consider this is equal to what pi by 2 this is amplitude a at amplitude a at amplitude a the angle will be pi by 2 if we consider if it is starting from origin but this method is applicable for whether it starts from origin or whether it starts from extreme position everywhere whatever be the case this uh, angle method is applicable for all whether whether it starts from any position from in between even it starts also we will be able to pro solve the problems easily okay so okay fine now here it is pi by 2 so i'm going to write it as 90 degree okay 90 degree now uh, mean position suppose if we consider a by 2 a by 2 so a by 2 will come at what angle at a 30 degree at a 30 degree we will be getting a by 2 we will be getting a by root 2 at 45 degree same way we will be getting root 3 a by 2 at 60 degree so here also same way a by 2 30 degree a by root 2 45 degree root 3 a by 2 at 60 degree and minus a at 90 degree so here this side we can take minus this side it is plus okay okay so here <coughs> this angle the change in angle 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree 30 45 60 this uh, amplitude change a by 2 a by root 2 root 3 a by 2 for these particular angles they are equal they will not change so for 30 degree say for example if a oscillation starts from here to reach 30 degree how much time it will take that we can calculate already we have calculated we know okay so here in this method we can calculate easily say for example one side complete coming back to mean position how much it takes 90 degree 90 degree okay so this side it is 90 again 90 adding another 90 adding another 90 totally it is 360 degree so for full time period for full time period it takes 360 degree or we can say for 360 degree movement it takes full time period now let us see well, let us see for one degree it takes t by 360 for one degree it takes t by 360 so for this 30 degree for 30 degree what can we say it is going to be t by 360 into 30 so if i cancel this this will become uh, here this will become 12 okay so already already we have seen uh, the answer before for 30 degree how much it is going to be t by 12 we have seen okay um, this is t by 4 it was not t by 8 but rather we found that it is going to be t by 12 now uh, for all these cases now hereafter from 30 degree to 45 degree 30 degree to 45 degree if we need to find out what we can use for 15 degree we can find it in this way t by 360 into 15 3 by 360 into 15 so whichever angular difference we get okay from here to here 
90 degree no worry see 90 for 90 t by 360 into 90 so this is going to be 4 t by 4 only it will take okay same way if you need to take 180 t by 360 into 180 t by 2 180 means just coming here going back to mean position again okay so see children so this is the crux this is the point of the discussion okay hope you understood suppose if you need to okay so note it down suppose if the angle gap angle gap 30 to 45 or 45 degree to 60 degree 60 to 90 30 to 60 is 60 degree likewise how much is the angle gap uh, for which we need to find the time then let it be x degree so time taken for x degree is nothing but t by 360 into x degree so from this approach we will be able to find anything say for example uh, while beginning discussing this thing you might have got a thought like uh, this is starting from origin okay this will work what about from here from here also it will work nine if something starts from 90 degree 90 degree to 30 degree what is the gap 60 degree put it here and get the answer okay now this is the uh, method we will do some problems for this As usual we will start with the simple problems then we will increase the complexity of the problems okay first question is okay an SHM an SHM is given mean position so this is a by 2 and this is a so time taken time to travel time to travel from a by 2 to a time to travel from a by 2 to a so here we have no idea whether it started from extreme position whether it started from mean position all these things if they are not give they have not given then it is very clear that from a by 2 to a it is going so but we must understand that at a by 2 the angle is going to be how much 30 degree at a the angle is going to be at 90 degree so what is the angle gap so time taken when they ask this time that uh, options we know that will be based on the time period just like uh, option a could be t by 4 option b could be t by 8 option c could be t by 12 likewise okay okay likewise different options will be given so now what we will do the time taken is equal to total time period divided by 360 into what this gap a by 2 to a how much is the gap 60 degree so this is going to be how much 6 so t by 6 this is the answer for this question okay clear okay another question another research this is mean position so this is amplitude so from mean position from mean position to a by root 2 a by root 2 from mean position to a by root 2 let this be t1 and from a by root 2 to a let this be t2 so what is t1 what is t2 
okay so this is the question okay hope this is easy for you so zero this is zero degree now we will go to the answer suppose if this is zero degree if this is zero degree we know a by root 2 is how much this is going to be 45 degree and here this is going to be 90 degree so what will be the answer so the gap between the angle gap here also this is 45 degree here also this is going to be 45 degree so obviously the time taken will be same because here we don't take the regular distance or displacement we are taking angular displacement so 45 degree 45 degree so t1 is equal to and t2 is equal to t by 360 into 45 so just to simplify this we will be getting the answer as how much so <coughs> t by 8 will be getting t by 8 this is the answer for this question okay right right next we will go to next question So another SHM mean position minus a minus a this is plus a okay the question is from minus a by root 2 okay minus a by root 2 to a by 2 minus a by root 2 to a by 2 minus a by root 2 to a by 2 so how much is the time taken uh, to start from starting from and ending at a by root 2 what is the time it, it need not start from a by root 2 and uh, end at a by 2 okay it can either start or it can start from here or it can end here whatever it may be we are not worried at all we need to find the time taken from a by root 2 to a by 2 that is the only worry so how to find this so here a by root 2 means this is going to be 45 degree and this is 0 a by 2 means this is going to be 30 degree so already 45 degree gap again 30 degree gap so putting together this is how much 75 degree this is going to be 75 degree so how much will be the time time is going to be t by 360 into 75 so if we solve this we will be getting 5t by 4 5t divided by 24 5t divided by 24 okay so 5t divided by 24 this is the answer So I hope uh, these kind of questions will no more be a trouble for us. We will be we can uh, solve uh, the time the uh, finding the time between one instant to another instant easily from this method. Now another uh, advantage of this method is if we get uh, two simple harmonic motions and if we need to find the phase difference between uh, two SHMs then this method will be helpful for us okay let us see how to deal those kind of questions <coughs> so uh, right away we will do start doing problems so this is one simple harmonic motion okay this is uh, its mean position a minus a so in this shm the particles particle start moving from a by 2 from here it is start it is moving so at the same time another shm another shm whose amplitude is also minus a 
and uh, plus a and uh, obviously uh, frequencies must be seen frequencies must be seen okay so only those kind of questions we need to expect frequencies will be same so another shm it is moving from a by root 2 no sorry a minus a by 2 minus a by 2 so here this is moving from minus a by 2 and this is moving from a by 2 now what is the phase difference between these two simple harmonic motions so this is s1 shm shm1 this is shm2 the question is what is the phase difference this method is developed from phaser method already phases we have studied uh, so from phases okay from phaser method phaser we did in detail we we study in the chapter alternating current so uh, here this method is developed from the phaser method so in phaser method what we do we will be considering phases as vectors voltage and current are not vectors but we consider voltage and current as vectors in phasor algebra same way here also we will be considering uh, the vector vector algebra so but we don't need to use much there but this is developed from phaser uh, method so you know the angle between two vectors angle between two vectors we take we will be taking the smallest angle say for example if this is vector a and this is vector b if this is 30 degree one can argue that why can't we say that the angle between vector a and b are 330 degree okay but we know what we do we will be taking the small angle why because because the effect of vector is going to be between this 30 degree so the angle between two vectors is the vector is the smallest angle we will not consider 330 degree so keep this in mind when we solve this okay you, i am going to raise this okay you have taken it right done okay fine now what we need to do how to solve this if we get two shms if we get two shms like this okay what we will be doing see mean position a by 2 this is moving in this direction this is a this is minus a and here it is going to be minus a by 2 now fix one fix one and move the other okay now after that fix the second one and move the other take the smallest angle take the smallest angle okay fix one okay then move the other measure the uh, angle fix the other one move the first one then measure the angle so which one is the smaller one that is the phase difference so we can solve using this method okay now let us proceed so here this is a by 2 let us take this as 1 this is moving in this direction so a by 2 means 30 degree so this is 30 degree this is 90 degree so this is moving how much what is the angle gap between 30 and 90 60 degree now when we come back to mean position we will have another 90 degree then this is fixed now when we move here this is a by 2 this is well, how much this is again 30 degree from here so this is going to be 60 plus 30 90 so this is going to become so to solve this question this is fixed now we will move this shm that is 
this is already at a by 2 means this is at 30 degree so from a by 2 to a 30 degree to 90 degree 60 degree will come 60 degree then it will come back to mean position because it will have to move till this the phase difference between this and this we are going to find out so 60 degree 30 to 90 60 degree coming back to mean position 90 degree it has moved okay then from mean position again till a by 2 means again 30 degree it has moved so 60 plus 90 plus 30 we are getting 180 degree okay so that is one possibility another thing is we will be fixing this one we will fix this and we will move this when we move this this is at minus a by 2 so how much is the angular gap here 30 degree because a by 2 means this is already at 30 degree so 30 degree from 30 degree again from mean position it will have to move to a by 2 this will give another 30 degree so take the smallest angle so if we consider this is totally 60 degree so 180 degree we got when we moved this one but when we moved this one we got 60 degree so this is the answer okay so i repeat once again uh, fix one shm there move the other one okay so angular gap carefully calculate the angular gap and find the phase difference when that one is fixed then fix the other one and move the second one so again in the same direction move between angular gap and find the phase difference. which one is smallest choose that one that is the phase difference between these two shms okay please note it down we will do more questions Another question again two SHMs minus A plus A minus A plus A. Okay, now one is starting at A by two. So from here one SHM is moving, it's not starting in the sense when one shm one particle is moving from a by two at the same time what is happening to the another particle move doing shm this is moving in this direction from minus a by two from minus a by two what is the phase difference what is the phase difference so uh, drawing a single line we can find it okay or here also we can find no worries okay so look look here so this is amplitude amplitude okay let us fix this one is minus a by 2 let us fix this okay and here this is a by 2 this will be moving in this direction this is moving in this direction what is the this is one shm this is another shm what is the phase difference okay let us consider this is a by 2 means this is 30 degree this is 90 degree so when it moves in this direction this is going to be 60 degree when it comes back this is going to be 90 degree and in it again further when it comes back here till this this is going to be again 30 degree so with this while fixing this and moving this we are getting the phase difference 180 degree let us try with the other one okay so now this one now we will fix this and we will be moving this so this is how much 30 degree and this is 90 degree when we move this direction this has moved 60 degree after reaching here it will come to 90 degree then again it will move to this one this is going to be 30 degree 
so what is coming here <coughs> both the cases both the cases we are getting 180 degree 60 plus 90 plus 30 so 90 180 degree both the cases we are getting so the phase difference the answer is 180 degree clear okay okay copy this right fine suppose uh, this is a by 2 if this is moving back okay okay one is moving towards extreme position one another SHM moving towards mean position from a by 2 from at the half of the amplitude now what is the phase difference that is the question now what shall we do let us fix this okay so we'll draw a line okay this is a minus a mean position this is a by 2 so suppose if it is moving if it is moving here we have another a by 2 which is fixed <coughs> okay now a by 2 to a so a by 2 is 30 degree a is 90 degree this is going to be 60 degree when it comes back to this one again it will take 60 degree so we are getting 120 degree when we fix uh, one SHM let us try with the another one let us fix this one when we fix this where this SHM is moving this SHM is moving in this direction so this will take 30 degree this will take another 90 degree again 90 degree again 30 degree so overall this is going to take much more than this one so this is the correct answer for this question okay that is the smallest smallest uh, uh, angle that we get from this one clear so these are the type of questions uh, regarding phase difference okay done we'll go to next question okay so here we are getting one question so that is nothing but i will read it you can see two particles are oscillating along two close parallel straight lines side by side with the same frequency and amplitude okay they pass each other moving in the opposite directions when their displacement is half of the amplitude the mean position of the two particles lie on a straight line perpendicular to the paths of the two particles the phase difference is so what they are saying is two SHMs so this is the language of the question okay this is how questions will be asked so two oscillating particles along two close parallel straight lines side by side with the same frequency and same amplitude okay they pass each other moving in the opposite di direction when their displacement is half of the amplitude so this is a by 2 this is a by 2 so they pass each other moving in the opposite direction when their displacement is half of their amplitude so let us consider they are moving in the opposite direction like this okay the mean position of two particle uh, lie on a straight line perpendicular to the paths of the two particles okay what is the phase difference okay what is the phase difference now let us consider let us fix this 
when it uh, a by 2 means 30 degree this is 90 degree so this moves to 60 degree and it comes back to <coughs> again 60 degree so one possibility is 120 degree could be the answer another possibility is what another possibility is <coughs> we will fix this one and we will move this one so this is uh, how much 30 degree 0 and this is again 90 degree so moving up to this 30 degree then again 90 degree coming back 90 degree again 30 degree so obviously this is much greater than this value correct already 180 then 180 plus 60 240 is coming so this is the answer for this question okay which option 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 c option c 120 degree or 2 pi by 3 okay so hope you got the technique okay done we'll move to next question so uh, a particle execute simple harmonic motion with amplitude a a particle execute simple harmonic motion with the amplitude a okay the period of oscillation is t period of oscillation is t the minimum time taken by the particle to travel to half of the amplitude from equilibrium position so this is a by 2 what they are asking to travel this much this is how much 30 degree what will be the uh, time taken minimum time taken uh, for traveling this much so <coughs> t is equal to t by 360 into 30 degree so this is going to be 12 so t by 12 is the time taken uh, five by the particle to move that much okay already we have done uh, just to understand the question language using this method how to do okay we will go to the next question okay this is done okay another question a simple harmonic oscillator has an amplitude a and time period t the time required by it to travel from x is equal to a to a by 2 suppose if this is a this is 0 this is a by 2 so how much is the time taken from a to a by 2 so 0 degree 30 degree 90 degree so this gap is how much 60 degree so what they are asking is time that too based on the time period so t is equal to t divided by 360 into how much 60 so this is going to be how much t by 6 option a option a okay right clear <coughs> okay another question a, a particle ex executes shm between minus a and uh, plus a okay between minus a and plus a particle execute shm between minus a and uh, plus a the time taken for it to go from <coughs> uh, zero that is mean position to a by two to a by two this is how much this is t1 and to go from a by two to a this is t2 this time is t1 and this time is t2 okay so then uh, this is just a comparison which one is greater okay so here obviously we know uh, as we uh, the maximum velocity will be where maximum velocity is at a mean position so obviously we know as it moves here here velocity will become zero so from this half to this half obviously the time taken will be <coughs> more because there the velocity will be less so from there itself we will be able to say that option a is the 
correct answer okay or otherwise with this method we can say that this is 30 degree 0 degree and 90 degree so till this the distance the angular distance to cover is 6 30 degree and to travel this much the distance to cover is 60 degree so 60 is greater than 30 so in that sense also we can say t2 is greater than t1 okay so this question was asked in je advanced so all these questions are je questions only with this method we will be able to do je questions also okay another question okay done shall we another question i will read two particles are performing shm in straight line about same equilibrium point okay the amplitude the amplitude and the time period for both the particles are same minus a plus a okay amplitude and time for both the particles are same and equal to a and capital t respectively at a time t is equal to 0 one particle has displacement a while the other has the displacement minus a by 2 so one particle has the displacement here one particle has the displacement here okay so they are moving towards each other so that information is also important we do not know whether it is moving this way or whether it is moving this way so they are clearly given they are moving towards each other they are moving towards each other if they uh, cross each other at a time t okay if they cross each other at a time t then t is what is t so at a at a time at a time t it will cross each other we need to find time t so when they travel equal angular distance when they cover equal angular gap obviously the time t will come so let us see that okay so here this question we with this method we can e easily solve this this is 30 degree and this is 90 degree so what is the gap between them the gap between them is 30 degree plus 90 degree the gap total gap between them is 120 degree 120 degree is the gap between the two particles so if they travel if they travel 60 degree obviously they will meet each other so how much time they will take to travel 60 degree that is the time so for this one they travel 30 degree from here this is a by 2 and this is a by root 2 uh, by 40 45 degree and uh, root 3 a by 2 that is 60 degree it will travel uh, for uh, 60 uh, 30 degree at a 60 degree so 60 degree it will travel 30 degree so at root 3 a by 2 at root 3 a by 2 it will have covered 30 degree then another a by 2 it will be covering 30 degree so from 60 degree to 30 degree from this is actually how much 60 and this is 30 from 60 degree to 30 degree it will be covering another 30 degree so this also will be traveling 60 degree this also will be traveling 60 degree so just just for your understanding i have explained this directly from here we can say what is time t time t can be taken like t is equal to how much it will take 360 into time taken for covering 60 degree gap so this is going to be t by 6 okay so answer for this one is option uh, a okay option a okay i have mark this one here okay this is nothing but uh, the gap between these two is nothing but 120 degree okay so both will have to cover 60 degree each to meet each other so that is the logic of this question
so okay students so i am binding up this session today so hope you understood the technique hope i hope i believe this is going to be helpful for solving um, oscillation questions which involves finding time which involves finding phase difference uh, when two simple harmonic motions are given okay thank you so much goodbye good luck